This is Rick coming to you again from Everyday Preppers. Uh, one of the things that we want to talk today in our product review uh, was originally planned to be a product review on the Wizzy Wipe. I originally saw this on the Canadian Preppers page and I'll post the link down below for you can see his original video. It got me really intrigued, some of the highlights and some of the points that he went over. So I gave it a lot of thought and I said, hey, I got to try this. So, you know, kudos to the Canadian Prepper for uh, bringing this to, to my viewpoint, uh, to, to my eye, and I kind of wanted to share it with my audience and showcase it too. Uh, so I went on to Amazon and I ordered what I thought was a 100 count bag of, of Wizzy Wipes. It came with 100 count tablets. Uh, it was not originally individually wrapped. It was just a bag of 100 tablets. And I thought this is a great thing for me to put in my pack. It's a great thing to put in the car. Uh, you can put them in small little containers. And we'll go over a few containers that you could, you know, put in your car, put in your pack, put in your your purse, your, you know, wherever you need it in your day pack, your first day kit. I think they'd be great in a first day kit too. Uh, but the original company that I found through Canadian Prepper was the Wizzy Wipe Company. When I ordered it through Amazon, I, like I said, I thought I was buying a 100 count bag of Wizzy Wipes. What I got was 10 bags of individually wrapped towelettes that the Canadian Pepper called toilet tabs. Uh, these are called pop-up wipes. They're individually wrapped and as you can see this is one of the bags and I'll put it out here. I don't know if you can see that. Individually wrapped little toilet tablets. So how these things work uh, you would, I guess with this pack, you would tear it open. Oh, there it is. You would tear it open and I would say that it's probably the size diameter of maybe a Sirt's breath mint or a little bit smaller than a peppermint, a little round peppermint. I think it's a little bit smaller than a round peppermint. Uh, probably a little bit thicker than a peppermint, but uh, I would say that's probably quarter, maybe a half inch in, in thickness. And uh, the diameter is probably the size, like I said, of a peppermint or maybe a dime. And the concept is that they come just like you see. Uh, my original thought was that I'd buy a 100 count bag and I would put it in the uh, little waterproof match containers that you can buy and I'll post a link down below for that too uh, or you can use I'm a former photographer so I have a lot of these little film containers film contain canisters from my print film days and you could pop this open and you could drop I don't know almost 10 of these things in there maybe maybe six eight ten of those little tablets in here uh, another container that I found is uh, I found these at Harbor Freight. You can find them at Hobby Lobby. Uh, you could put, you know, half a dozen of those in there too. And then put them in your truck, put them in your go kits. Uh, I bet I could get two, four. I could get 16 tablets in that little container. So that's, that's I mean, if you're regular, like, you know you should be uh, for your notorious number twos I think that this would be great uh, two weeks worth of toilet paper uh, you can use these for what I think that they were originally intended for is toilet tabs uh, you could also use them for cleaning wipes if you're an extra if you exercise you jog you bicycle uh, any kind of sports uh, all you do is put a little water from your water bottle on it and these things would expand uh, we're going to test this out right, right quick on camera and see if I can show you how easy it is. Just drop it in the water and you saw what it started off with. And this just unfolds just like that. And then it unwraps 
just as simple and as pretty as you please. This is probably the size of maybe a sheet of paper, 8.5 by 11. It's a fibrous material. I don't know that you can catch this on camera. But uh, as quickly as I put it in the water, it grew and expanded with moisture. And then you can use this to wipe yourself off. Uh, you can use it for notorious number twos. Uh, some people say, well, that's not enough. I need four or five of these. Well, just imagine folding this in half folding it in half again and there you go you got a lot of real estate there to work with then you can take your tablet cloth fold it over again there you go fold it over again there you go so uh, as far as the notorious number twos go uh, I'm not going to tell you how to do that everybody should know how to do that but the fact of the matter is you got a lot of real estate to work with. This is uh, a really cool product. Uh, it's, it's quite strong. Let's just take it. Now that's doubled up. Let's just take it as it is. Just like that. You can't do that with regular toilet paper, especially wet toilet paper. It would disintegrate on you, but that's quite strong. I mean, that's... Uh, I'm popping that pretty hard and that's pretty strong. So as far as the original concept of me ordering Wizzy Wipes go, uh, I can't compare that this to Wizzy Wipes because I don't have any. Uh, but if Wizzy Wipes makes the new pop-ups, uh, I'm all for it. Uh, I kind of like the individual wrapped tablets. I mean, this is something you throw in the bottom of your pack. You can throw them in your... Um, it's got a little air pocket in there, so I'm assuming that this is watertight uh, based on the little air pocket that's floating around in here. So if this is what you're wanting, grab four or five of these things, throw them in your day pack, throw them in your school backpack, throw them in your hiking pack, throw them in your go bag. Um, I think these would be great if you think about it from a first aid point of view. Having a couple of these wet wipes in a first aid kit to wipe off a wound. Um, I think they're great. Put a little water on it, let it expand. Uh, put your hydrogen peroxide or your disinfectant or your betadine and scrub the wound and then apply your band-aid or your dressing. Uh, I think this is a really cool product. I want to give uh, praise again to the Canadian Prepper for bringing this to uh, everyone's uh, eye. I think it's a really great product. Uh, I don't know that much about pop-up. Uh, I was really doing my investigation behind the Wizzy Wipe. Uh, it's a compressed cotton cloth, wet unfold, ready to use. It's the thing I like about it the most is that you can use this on a camping trip or hiking or survival or whatever you're out doing on the weekend or you know whatever situation occurs. This thing is biodegradable, so you can leave it out in the weather and it will disintegrate. It's not like plastic. Now the bad part about it is it comes in plastic little pockets, little plastic containers. So my thought process is, and it always has been being a former scout, is if you hike it into the woods, you hike it out of the woods. If it's something that's not biodegradable, like your cotton cloth, you need to put it in your pack and you need to bring it home. If it was me, I might put a whole bunch of these in a container and then put those in my pack or put them in my go bag and not have to worry about the plastic. Uh, you can also put it in the, in the uh, match containers. You can find them at Walmart. You can find them on Amazon, eBay. The little match containers, like I said, I'll put that link down below. And I'll put the link down below for this. But be careful, be cautious that what they're advertising is the Hunter Count Wizzy Wipe. And what you may get may be an individual bag just like these. You might get 10 bags of these. Uh, this says it's www.popuptowels.com. So it does not say Wizzy Wipes. It's from Rapid City, South Dakota. So this is an offshoot of a uh, Wizzy Wipe. I imagine they're saying there's 10 pieces in this bag and each piece is nine by 10. So I was pretty close, eight and a half by 11. I was pretty close. Uh, 22 by 25 centimeters, nine by 10 inches. 
individually wrapped, 100% natural, cellulose fiber, biodegradable, no alcohol, no antibacterial solution in this, no preservatives. It's for all skin types, so there's no chance of being having an allergic reaction to this. So that's it for now. Uh, again, I want to I thank the Canadian Prepper for uh, sharing this with us, and uh, I'm a big fan of these. And uh, although I didn't get the Wizzy White name brand, the bio, the uh, pop-up wipes seem to be a great alternative. And uh, so far, so good. I'm a big fan of them. So uh, I'll be trying them out in the field, I promise you. So uh, that's it for now. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to our page, and by all means, share it. That's the most important thing is share it. Uh, the number of shares makes a big difference in the YouTube world. So uh, we thank you so much, and don't forget to check us out on Facebook. We're also on Patreon and Instagram. Our Patreon page is brand new, so uh, bear with us as we build it and grow with it, and it's going to allow us to uh, hopefully generate some funds to bring you even more videos and offer more products uh, that we've seen out on the market uh, to share with our audience. Thank you so much again. My name is Rick. I'm with Everyday Preppers. Have a great day, and make sure you check out WYSIWYPE or the pop-up wipes. Thank you so much.